you guys are in for an amazing video. It, at least I think so. So before you guys watch, this is a competition and collaboration between myself, the Toasty Bros, Tech Bank, Tech Always, and Budget Tech. We all had one month, starting with a 660 Ti graphics card, to take that card and flip it and see how much money we could make or how many upgrades we could make in one month time. The challenge started on September 13th and ended on October 13th. That's all the information I'm gonna give you. The content should speak for itself and I encourage all of you guys to check out everyone's video to see who you think did the best. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and enjoy. So here we have it, 660Ti. So first day, already able to liquidize the card. I'm gonna have around $55, something like that in cash. Gonna go head over to the post office now. Gonna go make some money. <laughs> Okay, so after all the fees from eBay, I had $64.51. And now after the shipping cost, because I paid for the postage through eBay's website, I have $55.25 to work with. So uh, now is where the challenge actually starts. Okay, so not even 10 minutes after selling the card and dropping it off at the post office, I'm going through Craigslist here and I actually see an EVGA 950 for 50 bucks. So I'm gonna email that guy right now. EVGA GTX 950 graphics card. Yes, the GPU is still available. Oh, his name's Chris too. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm about to head over to this guy's house. 50 bucks for a 950, so I'm pretty stoked about that. I think there's a little bit of flipping potential there, maybe like 10 or 20 bucks, you know, kind of not that much, but at this point we're kind of just really trying to get started and get off the ground. Right now, I have the $55.25. It is on hold from eBay in my PayPal account. So right now I'm spending the $50 in cash that I have out of my pocket. I hope that you guys will, you know, forgive me for not waiting till I had the cash, but with flipping, you really do have to move quick because anything that's a really good deal is gonna get purchased typically on the same day. I got lucky and this post has been sitting up for a while but no one's grabbed the card. And uh, hopefully I can flip this 950 for a little bit more than what I'm getting it for. Okay, so we are here. <laughs> yep, yep, that's weed. Okay, well, I'm gonna put the camera back in the car but you know, we're here, apartment complex, so hopefully the card works, I mean, if it doesn't, I know where he lives. <laughs> All right, here we go. EVGA GeForce GTX 950. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make at least $20 on this. I'm gonna go ahead and post it on eBay the second I get back home. Gonna post it all around the local selling services as well. And day one, I'm off to a pretty strong start. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to where it goes from here. I'm not gonna, you know, count my eggs before they hatch, but uh, I'm pretty sure I've made a little bit of money back on this. But I'll let you guys know when that happens. Back on day four of the competition and I finally got someone to reach out about the 950 and they're actually really quick about buying it, so. 950 available, yes it is. We are doing 70 bucks. All right, here we go. Hi, Daryl, right? To buy a dollar straw. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Have a good rest of the day, Daryl. 20, 40, 50. Okay, what was it? We got a total of $75.25. So my new max budget is that, and I gotta figure out what I can get on the low for $75 and see what I can flip. Maybe there's someone out there selling a, a really cheap system for $75 that I could try to flip for 100, but we'll see. Uh, that, would, that would involve a lot of luck. So last we left off, I had the $75.25. I finally got a response from someone who I've been harassing basically to respond to me because they've had something posted on OfferUp and the listing is an AMD pink case with motherboard memory and power supply. 
The reason I'm going with this computer is because they listed it for 60, I negotiated it to 50, and it's only missing the hard drive. And just from the pictures, from when I look inside, it looks like an old AM3 build, I think. It could work. It, it could definitely work, and if it does, this is gonna be a huge payout because if I can get a hard drive for like $5, get like a cheapo graphics card for like $20, then I'm looking at a full system that can game that I can sell for over a hundred bucks, 150, maybe, maybe. I could double my money with this, I, I, it's, it's possible. Highly unlikely, very risky, but it's possible. All right, just got the computer, 50 bucks. Now let's check this thing out. Uh, I don't know, can we check this thing out? There's like no light out here. But that's uh, eight gigabytes of DDR3 right there. You got this uh, thermal take power supply. As long as this thing works, I just gotta go get a hard drive now and uh, it'll be good. I don't know if I've said this before, but I'm pretty sure I can get one for $5. Pretty sure, just some old HDD, hopefully something Western Digital because those hold up pretty decently. If I can get a full system for 75 bucks going, I'll, that, I'll be impressed with myself. We got an insane set of deals coming up today. Right now, I'm going to go get a 500, I'll show you the screenshots. I'm going to get a 500 gigabyte Western Digital drive. So I'm hoping this drive works and there won't be too many issues. But the graphics card, woo, we got a GTX 750 two gigabyte variant from PNY. And I could not be happier with that card for $20. So both of those for a total of $25. After I have those two parts collected, I'll got 25 cents left. And uh, I should, if everything works, I haven't tested it yet, but I'll, I'll have a working computer and it should be able to play some games. Okay, that was uh, a really weird transaction. Cause that was sketchy as hell. It's <sighs> great, it was five bucks. I have the Western Digital Drive here now. Now I gotta head over and uh, get the graphics card. So, uh, moving on. Sick. Look at this thing. The computer here on the floor with the Windows 10 USB stick. I'm gonna hit the switch on the power supply and... Oh! <laughs> I'm so sick! Oh my god. This is so sick. I am so excited to benchmark this. Not even more than 12 hours later, we sold the computer. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. I had to do a little bit of my actual job, so I couldn't, you know, have the camera and make the sale at the same time. Okay, so after a few hours of thinking it over, I figured, since this is a YouTube video, uh, I'm gonna do it for the content, and I'm actually gonna try to build another computer with the $200, but this time I'm not gonna be doing the same thing. I'm not gonna go for the same, you know, find the bare minimum and throw it together. I'm actually going to try and build a computer that needs DDR4 RAM. I have no clue if that's possible with the $200. I really don't think it is, but I just found a deal that might help make it possible. I got a deal right here on OfferUp. I'll show you the screenshot. $35 for eight gigabytes of DDR4. Now it's not quality RAM. It's Pacific Sun memory. I've heard of it before. It's like one of those really cheap off brands, but even brand new, I'm pretty sure it sells for like at least 60 bucks. But uh, it's a start. <sighs> well, this sucks. I just wasted probably the last 35 minutes standing around. Yeah, the guy never showed up. Okay, so something I should have recorded yesterday, which I didn't, uh, is that guy who completely just stood me up, reached out to me like two minutes after I got back home, saying, hey, my bad, didn't see your message. So we ended up going back, getting the RAM, 
and he actually sold me a pretty decent drive for 10 bucks. I, I could have been more patient, I could have waited and maybe have gotten one for $5 like I did the first time, which will might bite me in the ass later. But now, what we're doing is we actually are getting a 660 Ti, it's, funny, it's the car we started with. It's a PNY variant though. We're, get, we're going to a park right now. We're gonna get it for $25. 660 Ti blower style fan by PNY. And to end today, I actually scored a really good deal on a motherboard and power supply combo. I'm getting the two of them for 50 bucks. I actually don't have the offer up ad in front of me. I, I remember what the motherboard is. I don't remember what the power supply is but I can promise you both of them are quality products. Sorry for the iPhone quality. I didn't want to bring my camera and now I'm really glad I didn't. I'm in a really bad area in Las Vegas. Um, it's like by a casino that's like right next to a highway, um, which is hella ghetto, but I got the part I needed. Um, again, I'm really sorry for the quality. Let me turn this on. It's not an EVGA Supernova. I was really hoping it was. Uh, the people I was buying from didn't know what they had. But I ended up getting a fully modular, no, semi-modular uh, Rosewell power supply. It's 80 plus bronze, 650 watts. Um, I hope it works. Oh my God. So another thing I don't think I clarified yesterday night, sorry, I was just kind of in a rush and a little bit scared with everything that was going on, is that I also didn't get the motherboard that the person said they had because it said, it was an Asus Prime C170 on the front, you know, for 25 bucks, that would have been insane. But um, they didn't have it. They didn't even know what they had. So, you know, that kind of sucked. So I'm, I'm back to, not square one, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty far back again because I don't have a processor and a motherboard. But then today happened and someone posted an i3-8100 for $60. I took a shot in the dark. I messaged this guy. I said, hey, can I get the processor for $40? Which it does come with an Intel stock heat fan, by the way. He messaged back five minutes ago saying, you know what? Fine, I'll do $40. So I'll show you guys a screenshot. I hope I'm starting to take the screenshots with time codes so you guys, it's more believable that I'm, I'm getting the prices I'm getting them at, you know, today and I'm not faking stuff from that I've done in the past. Oh, hell yeah. Check this thing out. So one extra little bit of good news actually is I'm on Newegg right now. I'm about to buy the motherboard. We're getting an ASRock H310M for $45.03. And, and I forgot I had a ShopRunner account, which is free to sign up for. It knocked off the shipping charge. So our grand total is actually just $45.03. Let's go. Oh, my hands aren't big enough. So I've definitely been going through a little bit of a drought here. I haven't been able to find any cases anywhere on the local market, and I really don't want to settle for one of those cheap $20 free shipping cases on eBay. So right now I'm debating whether or not I should be patient and keep waiting, or if I just should go ahead and cave and get one of those cases. You guys are not gonna believe this, so, oh jeez. So someone finally posted a case that was micro ATX with the glass panel, and I've been messaging him today, and I asked him, hey, can I get it for 20? And I'll show you on the screen right now, a screenshot of what it is, it's an in-win case, and he was listening for 50, and he's like, uh, I can't do that, that's too low. So I said, uh, you know, sure, I understand. Um, I waited like four hours. I really expected not to hear anything back because this case goes for like $100 new. And he said, if you show up tonight, it's yours for 20. So uh, I'm gonna go get that right now. And yeah. <laughs> so I was really tired last night. I couldn't get to this build, but woke up. I think it's like eight o'clock in the morning right now. So I'm gonna build this thing and let's get it going.
This thing kind of looks like dookie, but <laughs> thankfully this front window is tinted. I'll give you a quick, quick, a quick peek inside. Oh God. The biggest concern here obviously is does this thing work and I have no idea yet. So what we're gonna do now is take it over to the testing area and cross our fingers <laughs> and, uh, and see what happens. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Ah, this sucks. Well, I'm gonna troubleshoot this thing a little bit and then I'll see if I can get it to work. Ugh. Based on what I can see on the screen right now, the computer is working. I bought a bad power supply. Um, so while I'm glad that everything else in this computer works miraculously, I, I knew it was all too good to be true. I knew something um, had to be bad here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna message the person I bought the power supply from. Is there any way you can refund me? I'm hoping that I'm not out $25 here because if I can get my $25 back, I'm fully confident I can buy another power supply. But if I can't and these people just ghost me, then um, I'm kind of screwed. Okay, so the update is, is that the woman who sold me the fried power supply said that, let me get back to you, I'm working right now. Unfortunately, I can't wait that long because there was another deal that popped up today for a power supply for $20. So what I'm gonna do, which is probably a little bit of breaking the rules here, is I'm gonna get the power supply from this guy for 20 bucks and then I'm gonna go get my money back from this woman later. So yes, right now I do only have 22 cents in the budget, but I'm hoping that you'll be able to overlook this just a little bit. Uh, I could be patient, I could wait for another deal to come up, um, but to be honest, I don't know if another one is going to come up. I got the power supply, hopefully this one works. Yes! <laughs> I guess the next thing to do is bench it. Try to get Fortnite on here really quickly, as well as some other tests, and uh, hopefully this thing's more powerful than the first one. Okay, so this thing definitely performs a lot better than the last computer. My only concern now is, I mean, now that we've proven this modded BIOS is actually insane, it's like, how do we prove this to people that are actually gonna be buying the computer? If, if they see 660 Ti, their first instinct is, oh, old sixth generation car, was it do? Well, it can do over 60 FPS consistently on high settings with high anti-aliasing on for Fortnite. <laughs> So it's been a few days and I'm actually having a very tough time selling the computer. I'm not even getting any nibbles. So because this has proven to be so difficult, something that I'm going to try doing is flipping my 660 Ti and then trying to get a better graphics card, a newer one, and hope that that will attract new buyers. So what I've done is I've listed the 660 Ti, or I did yesterday, on Hardware Swap on Reddit and someone is buying it for $50 shipped so it's gonna cost me $10 to ship it. I already did the price, uh, the price calculator for the shipping label. And I am buying locally a 1050 for $40. Okay. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. we'll do. Thank you. Yeah. Gigabyte 1050. So yeah, got the 1050 now. Ship the 660 Ti. Let's throw this thing in the system. Hopefully this increases my chances of selling. And to wrap up the day, I actually have some good news. I posted the power supply that the woman sold to me that doesn't work. Um, I'm not gonna go into how that story resolved itself because uh, it didn't. She's basically being scummy and not gonna return my money to me. But it did come with modular cables and someone is willing to buy it off me for $20, which is what I got the other power supply that replaced this one. So technically, I am still within the money that I used and have been earning 
from the starting flipping, uh, the total flipping amount. So we're back on track. Now I just have to sell the computer. It has been a pretty disappointing week. Uh, I did finally sell the computer. I had it listed for $400. I thought I could at least get $350. Um, and the best offer I actually got locally was $300, but I turned it down. I regret that now because I forgot I had the computer listed on eBay. Uh, it had a buy it now price of $400 and a starting bid of $275. And someone actually last second bid uh, for $275 plus shipping. So unfortunately, I had to ship the guy the computer. I, I know I, I could have canceled the transaction if I really wanted to, but I figured there's one week left to the competition. Let's just get rid of this thing. So aside from that disappointing flip, um, I actually put in a lot of work today, finally, uh, now that I had cash to move. Uh, and I actually bought this bad boy down here, uh, which we will be testing here in a second. I know I didn't videotape that transaction, um, but I will just give you the rundown. I got this computer for $90. Long story short, I saw it on OfferUp um, and I saw pictures of the graphics card inside this computer and someone was trying to sell it for $45. I asked him, hey, is this thing still available? And he said, ah, someone's actually on the way. So I knew that this is one of those miracle finds that could really pay off. And I told him basically, listen, I'll pay you double. So I wanna test this thing now, see what we got and uh, see what we can flip it for. Cause you know, a $90 computer, easy to flip. Okay, so two days later and with about five days left in the competition, we finally flipped the computer. This bad boy is going for $200, which is a little bit more than double our money, which is great. And we got the 200 in cash, let's see. Uh, can we count this? Not that we've counted anything else, but 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. With that, we now have $380 plus some change. And uh, I know what I wanna buy. And uh, <laughs> I'll try to keep that a little bit of a surprise. How's it going? Hello, man. Can I take some uh, video of it? It looks, it's a really cool looking uh -huh. card. Yeah. Got that in uh, beginning of June of 17. So check it out, all the cereals match the box and the card. Uh, oh, very cool. 83. Yep, boom, good. That's good, awesome. Yeah. Adam, thank you very much. Welcome, man. Appreciate it. Will do. All right. Have a good rest of the night. You too, man. So there you have it. A 660 Ti for $55 turned into a $300 GTX 1080 with $80 to spare. Some of you might be wondering, you know, why I chose to go with the 1080. Well, I thought it would be a cute gesture to go from a cheaper, older graphics card to a more expensive, more top of the line graphics card. Um, and all in, I think I got five days left. So in 25 days, it didn't even take me the full month. But after everything that you've seen in this video, and I know it must have been a long one if I you know, didn't break it up into segments, uh, I hope you guys learned a lot from this whole buying, selling, flipping experience. Um, a lot of what I know and do on you know, a daily, weekly basis for the YouTube channel, you have seen in this video. A lot of my strategies, a lot of what I know is possible, what isn't possible, I, throw in, I threw into this. So if you guys are smart and you paid attention, you should be able to recreate this for yourself. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this entire process. I know this is definitely the longest time I've ever taken uh, to make a video, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm walking away with 80 extra bucks and a brand new 1080. So if you like this video, I'll throw this in there, you know, throw me a subscription, you know, I'll like the video if you liked it. And you know, if you didn't, you know, dislike it, but I make content like this all the time. And I, I, what I want to do with these videos is show you guys, you know, that you can make some money, you can game PC gaming for cheap, and you can, you know, just build computers for whatever you need for cheap. So I, I'm, I'm trying to show you guys what you can do. Don't spend more money than you have to. No one ever wants to do that. So yeah, a very extended outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, 
Have a great day.